bison once roamed the plains of Colorado, either peacefully grazing or in a thundering gallop of 35 miles per hour, migrating in large herds wherever a fresh blade of grass was growing, often leading into the mountains. These massive critters look peaceful while grazing, but can be very unpredictable. When watching a herd graze in places such as these in Genesee Park by I-70 in Colorado, caution should be given. Pay attention to the posted signs, stand away from the enclosure fence at a safe distance when watching and photographing the bison. Both males, bulls and females, cows, have horns. Unlike antlers, these horns do not fall off every year. Horns can serve as a powerful weapon. Some bulls are 10 feet long and weigh nearly a ton. Cows are over 6 feet long and weigh 1,000 pounds. During rutting season, from June to September, fights occur between dominant males. Only the fittest earn the right to breed with the cows. Pushing, kicking and shoving turn violent as their massive shaggy head batters into their opponent, gouging with their effective horns. These fights can lead to severe maiming or death. Did I mention to stay away from that fence? Heaviest breeding takes place during July and August. After a nine and a half month gestation period, a single calf is born. Young calves are orange brown in color. As they get older, their color changes to dark brown. Cows breed at three years old, but bulls must wait until they have built up enough status in the herd. Depending on the number of bulls in the herd, this could take seven or eight years. Bison live between 20 and 30 years old. Bison love to roll around in the mud and dirt. This wallowing behavior is believed to serve things such as relieving skin irritation from insect bites, molting and relief from the heat of the sun. A bison's diet consists of grass. If grass is not available during winter months, they will also eat twigs of bushes. Captive bison also eat fortified hay, especially during the winter months. In the past, bison scats or chips were used to fuel for the fire. Their hide was used for clothing and their meat fed families. Over time, bison migrated from wildlife into the livestock category, from grazing free on the plains of North America, adding grace to a nickel, to monitored herds. Bison still represent the old wild and rugged west. Every time you see a bison, you see a glimpse of our Colorado history.